This 2007 built Mercedes-Benz S350 is absolutely beautiful. It's silver with black leather interior and it's got the very nice factory five spoke alloy wheels. Silver with black is a very good colour combination to have because it's easy to keep clean and it's easy to sell. It was optioned with a wood grain steering wheel which I think is a must on any S class. It comes with all your standard features including memory, electric seats, you can even control the passenger seat from the driver's side. Simply press that and you control from this side here. Obviously it's got automatic headlights, automatic wipers. We'll start it up. It's just had a service by a Mercedes-Benz specialist in botany. There's your radio, navigation, Bluetooth. It's got parking sensors front and back. It's got the much newer gear shift and it's got the seven speed gearbox but it's got a very good service history to it it drives perfectly and being an 07 build I think it's quite desirable they came out in 2006 uh, Xenon lights are standard there's really just a lot more standard equipment on the 221 series, which is this series, compared to the 220 series in the previous model. You know, you would have thought that back then, you know, in 2004 or 5, Xenon headlights would have been standard. On this model, they are. Another option on these, which this car doesn't have, I believe. Yeah, they, they do have soft closed doors as an option. A lot of people when they buy the new don't get that as they they did have problems in the mid-90s in the W140 Series S class. However, a soft closed boot is standard. The 221 series also has a much, much lighter body and a much lighter all alloy V6 engine. which produces just under 200 kilowatts of power. So I'm just going to unlock it. But it's a very impressive car. It is totally standard, so it doesn't have even tinted windows or anything like that, or a tow bar. To be perfectly honest, you don't see many S-classes with a tow bar. Although they're more than capable, I'm sure you could uh, find another vehicle for towing. The timber work is beautiful as well. All the way through. It's also got the stitching in the, in the steering wheel here, like the uh, S600 V12. Let's have a look at these books. We'll just have, so all the books are present. We'll just have a look at the service book doesn't have any number plates on it because uh, it came from interstate, this car, and uh, we don't register until it's sold, sometimes it goes back to that state. Here we go. So basically it's been serviced at Mercedes most of the way through, then I went to a specialist, yeah, Central Star, Benz specialist, Mercedes Benz Gold Coast for the last few, and the most recent one was done at um, Eastern Suburbs Automotive for a very good Mercedes specialist and that was a B service, that was a major service has only just been done on this car which is very good to see put these books away but the attention to detail is very good, you've got stitching along the top of the dash here and I think really they're just in every way a more substantial car to the previous model and for me I always thought they looked a lot more like a Maybach probably because the Maybach is built on a 221 
You can see by the flares and the guards here and the tail lights especially. But it's a very impressive car. I've, I've owned uh, 220 series and I've owned 221 series. Uh, they're both very good. I've always had a soft spot for the 220 series which was made from 1999 until 2005 where there was just a, a couple still on the road being built in um, early 2006 when they bought out the 221. I think what I like about the 220 series is it it probably feels a little bit older which I quite like whereas the 221 series this model just feels like a much much more modern car Like I find with this series, when you sit in the car, you sit quite low. You feel cocooned. Whereas with the previous model, you sit very, very high. You know, more similar to something like a W126 from the mid-80s. But I think it's very impressive. Very good value. I think that it's good that it's an 07, just because personally I don't, I don't always like getting the first year of, of production of any car. And uh, it's got the powerful V6, which is economical as well. In fact, this engine is around 200 kilowatts in a six-cylinder. The previous model, 5 litre V8, was 220 or 225 kilowatts. And because it's a much lighter engine, it's all aluminium, and it's got the seven speed gearbox, I'd say it'd be, it'd probably be faster. But I think it's very impressive. It would suit a very fussy buyer. And it does have some great options like your timber steering wheel. But whether it's an S-Class from now, 10 years ago, 20, 30, 40 years ago, if it's a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, we know it's a very good car. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We're located in Marrickville, 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. We sell a lot of European cars, mostly Mercedes, because we find them to be the most reliable. Thanks again for watching.